Hi, Glenn Davis, Scenic Director and Designer for Willow Creek Church. Today I want to talk to you about the ray tubes that we are going to be using for the GLS host sites. <clears throat> They're made out of PVC pipe, inch and a half. Uh, we purchased some molding and put it on the side of the PVC pipe. And then uh, coroplast uh, as a uh, diffuser shield for the LED strips that you see in here. All right, let's get started on how we cut the pipe. Again, it's inch and a half pipe. I've created a trough to be able to put an eight foot piece of pipe in here. And in, uh, in order to hold the pipe, by the way, I'll show you how I, I've left a, just a little bit of room for the pipe to expand as we're sawing it. Uh, this width here is two inches. And then I've created kind of an edge here for my power saw to ride on. But on the sides, I've created a couple areas. Um, I marked these out for me to know where to go as I'm putting pipe on. And I'd be able to uh, put a screw in here. It self taps into the pipe itself and then it holds it tight. And it doesn't bounce around as I'm sawing it. So once it's in place, then I take my power saw and then uh, we go through and cut it. Be sure to wear a face shield. Hot plastic's not good in the eye. And then uh, we end up with an off fall like so. And notice I got the wording. Uh, it's a piece that I cut off. Uh, very important, at least in my opinion, uh, put the wording in an area where you're cutting so it doesn't uh, have any markings on your ray tube. All right, next thing, once it's cut, then you could still leave it in place with the screws holding it. And I got an example here. What we're going to do is install the molding. So I've dropped a two inch piece of coroplast in here along the side. And what that's going to do is act as a guide for me to be able to install my molding. So this is the molding. And I've got a couple pictures on site to show you where I got it. I got this at Home Depot, but you can get it at several other lumber companies. And then uh, the molding goes on to the side like this. And so the core plast acts as kind of a, a guide for how wide uh, where this molding needs to go. And then I use number five screws. Um, they were um, three eighths of an inch. And I placed them every 16 inches. As you can see as a guide, um, here's a screw every 16 inches along there. All right, once that's in place, then you have to flip it over. You could reinstall the screws and st start all over in putting the molding on on the other side. Now, once that's in place, then you could start installing the LED tape. Now, the LED tape, um, when you purchase this, uh, it has some glue on it. This particular tape we've used several times. Uh, but the glue, what I found is the glue doesn't stick very long, especially on PVC. So what I've done is purchased some uh, 3M glue cement. This is vinyl and rubber, so it sticks to plastic really well. And then I sprayed the tape um, on the back side. Let that set for a moment and then I install it. Now on eight foot, if you're making an eight foot tube, uh, five meters work out really well. And that's normally what uh, a roll of LED tape comes in, five meters. And you notice I put it on the side. The reason for that is if I want to add support, a support structure here by maybe I'm putting a bolt through the bolt to another ray tube, uh, I could do that without any issues with the LED tape. The other thing is having the LED tape on on the sides, um, you don't get the pixelization as you would if it was in the center. All right, let's go on to the next thing. Once once the tape's in place, uh, then we cut the core plast. I want to make sure that the core plast is two inches in width. And another thing too, as you're cutting the pipe, this pipe is not, uh, once it's cut, the pipe tends to 
you either uh, most of the time contract. Like on this end here, it was end up being like one and three quarter of an inch, and on the other side it was wider. Uh, so, but making the two inch coroplast uniform, two inches wide all the way through, you can push it in and it makes it uniform. So now you got a nice, nice straight line on both sides. Now, once that's finished, uh, we start installing. Okay, so here's here's the finished unit as we put it together. And I wanted to show you how we attached them together. So, we've got the ray tubes together. In order to make this attachment here, I used number 10 screws. They were two and a half inches long with a nut washer. And what I've done is drilled a little hole in this pipe in the center. And then it drilled, I drilled a hole all the way through the, plast, the coroplast. And then on into the next pipe. Then we tighten it up. That way on the front view you don't see the screw. Put your core plast on. Naturally you would have your back layer core plast already on. You drill through it. But anyway, then you could slide your sleeve core plast on and then it's hidden. <clears throat> it's nice and tight. Now how we attach to the pipe, we're using black pipe. I left a couple screws out here just to show you. Again, there's another connection point. But I use self-tapping screws, as you can see there, sticking out about three quarters of an inch. And I drilled, I used a 16th inch drill bit, drilled through the plastic into the black pipe, and then uh, used my self-tapping screw and uh, attached it to the black pipe. And then, uh, and then you have all the wiring coming out. You put your controllers on those. I'm using uh, one controller per uh, two tubes, ray tubes. This is eight foot piece of one by eight um, pine. It could, it could be anything, it could be three quarter plywood. But uh, one by eight worked out really well. And you notice I put the black pipe on the back edge because most of your weight's toward the front. So that stabilizes it. I mean, it's pretty stable like that. And you could add wheels if you wanted to, casters to roll it around. If you're going to do that, I would add that you would, or I would suggest that you would uh, use 1x12s. So it gives you a little bit more stability. There you have it. Slash tag ray tubes.